recording? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're good. Yeah. Not too high over my head, just a little bit here, not too whatever. You're good? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the story about one of my uh, visits to the Slauson Super Mall. The year was 1994. Cut. All right, we're gonna take it back a second. Just keep rolling. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Larry's story. A moment, a story with Larry, whatever we're going to call this. All right. Check this out. The year was 1994. And this story is about my very first trip to the Slauson Super Mall. All right. So 1994, I was cast in a small movie uh, project. And the role that I had was to be a gangster. And I went in for a wardrobe fitting and the wardrobe lady didn't have the right clothes or didn't have clothes that looked like a gangster. Didn't it didn't remind me of what a gangster looked like. Didn't, you know, it doesn't it didn't scream gangster at all. So during the wardrobe fitting, she said, you know, I need a little bit of help with this. You know, if you could um, you know, pick up some clothes that look like a gangster, then you know. Um, that would be a great help to me. Like this lady was up in Hollywood and um, she was a black woman, but I think she was like a transplant from another um, state. Um, she was just happy to have her job, but she didn't have any idea what, you know, actually a gangster looked like. I think she even had, she had me put on like a tie dye, like a hippie tie dye shirt. And she was like, yeah, you can make it look like a gangster, right? And I'm like, mm, no, this is not it. Around that time, of course, I knew about, you know, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg and DJ Quick, MC8. These were my models of what, you know, gangsters look like. So I knew what the khaki suit looked like because I had seen DJ Quick wear it in his Way Too Funky video. And so I was like, well, if you need help with the wardrobe, I can definitely help you. She said, oh, that'll be so wonderful. That'll be a great help. I'd appreciate that so much. So my dad and I took a trip to the Slauson uh, Super Mall. I think it was my very first time ever going there. Uh, of course, we're from the area, so we knew the Slauson Super Mall. And you know what? what's interesting is I instinctively said, I know where to go to get the clothes. And the first thing that popped in my head was the Slauson Super Mall. So we go to the Slauson Super Mall. We walk in there, and I already know. I want a khaki suit. I want a blue bandana. I want some blue chucks. That was standard. We went in there, and we got everything. And we walked you know, right on out. You know, I had done my research, basically. I had done my, I had listened to my hip hop records, my gangster rap records. I knew what a gangster looked like. So when I bought all of those items, I knew what to get. Cut to the day that we were at the movie, on the movie set, and we were filming this movie. And, you know, I'm dressed with a, you know, white t-shirt, a, a blue khaki suit, blue Chuck Taylors and a blue rag hanging out, you know, my left, you know, pocket. And um, the director and the producer of this, you know, movie hadn't done their research because they didn't know what hood we were in. And there we were in a blood neighborhood. So we're trying to film this. I'm standing out there looking like super crip and who comes riding up on a, on a beach cruiser or a bike looking like Debo? but one of the OGs from the hood. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. He dropped that bike so quickly and he ran up on the set and he was like, oh, hell no, nah. you ain't gonna do this. Take that off, take this off. He was just, he was going off. And I was su surprised, you know, I said, oh my goodness. And I was asking myself like, wait a minute, this is real. <laughs> Don't they know, you know, didn't the director and producer, didn't they do their research, don't they know, you know, I'm like, this is not supposed to, th this movie is fake, but this incident is real. So anyway, um, the director and the producer rush over and they're trying to calm the man down and say, what's the problem? You no, know, we're filming a movie here, blah, blah, blah. One of the guys said, go get in the back, get in the back. We were filming in front of a house, you know, in their neighborhood. So I had to run to the back of the house pretty much and hide. And I was taking the clothes off and everything like, oh man. And, uh, and then at the end of the, at the end of the day, they were like, okay, 
<laughs> yeah, you know, we're not filming any more scenes with you wearing those clothes, you know, uh, outdoors. If we film with you, you, you'll be filming indoors, you know. It was a very tense moment, and that's just, um, you know, that was a real situation that could have turned, you know, ugly. And, um, but that's L.A. So that's, that's my story, you know. All right, so that's been story time with Larry. So thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Peace.